Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos and if this is your first time, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And if you find the video helpful, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up as well. And so right now what we want to do is we want to create our email and that one would should go in somewhere here. So I'm going to um just make a space here. So we are going to call this the business email, filling the business email. So at this point, that's when we call the command that we've created for inbox, which is create inbox. Is that not what we've created? Let's check our commands. Yeah, we create inbox. So let's begin the action so the next thing that we'll do here is we just use the then function to explore everything all the attributes that are inside here so i'm going to go ahead and just put this as inbox for lack of another name that will be suitable so i create the callback function and we're about to do something fun here so the first thing i will do is i will go back up create some general variables Right now, I will create an inbox ID that would help me get the ID out. So let me create an inbox ID. And um, let me also create an email address. And um, what else? And let me also create uh, the email body when I want to extract it, you will see when I will use them. And also, lastly, let me just create the OTP code that we want to get out, right? So, um, what we need to do right now is right here inside here. So we begin to call those variables and assign things to them. Why do I need to make them out of the scope? I am putting them outside the eat block and everything so that they can be accessible to all other eat blocks when they are needed. So in what scenario would you need this? You would need the inbox ID or probably the email address. Maybe when you want to automate a scenario by yourself, like you want to do a recover password, you know, or you want to do a change password um, test, you would need that particular email address. Or when you want to, um, in a closer example, when you want to, check the value of the email you will need that inbox id as well so let's get started we can uh, say inbox id it has already done that for us this is what we need and uh, for the email address it will be equal to the inbox the inbox value will bring out the email address for us so with this done we can simply just let's pick one of them here and paste right so let's paste this and uh, we'll go to into our selector what do we need there the business email field is what we need so we are going to paste that in please if i'm too fast you can either slow down the video you can slow down the video or you can watch this as many times as possible so you can understand what I've just done. So inside this place, we'll just type in the email address. So we are going to test this right away and see if it works. So we don't need to worry about if it will run our stuff automatically. It won't because we've already added this flag. I've mentioned it in the, in the previous video. We've added the watch for files changes flag. We've set it to false. So until we refresh the Cypress runner ourselves, nothing will happen. Why we needed to do this is because, you know, we just have 50 free emails. So we need to make sure that we don't waste it. So let's do this and see what happens. As you can see, it has inserted an email for us. So I think we are good to go. So which means the next thing we need to do is now begin to click, right? So where's the click one? There's the click one. So I'm going to copy the click. 
and bring it here and say well click to continue sign up right and what we just need to change since is the click action we just need to put up the next button there right so we do that and um we are good to go so the next step let's go back to our manual folder our manual step where are we on the next step for manual if we come here when we create this when we add fields oh god we need to add some fields uh -huh. let's just create some things there you know let's so we can pass it quickly 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 so um yeah so let's just move on okay so what we just need to do next is come here and if you see here it's different so what we need to do is first click and when we click into it we've not clicked into it if we click into it it shows us the result so that's what we need to do so we are going to click the source tag and we are going to pick something here so i will do that quickly by um doing this say um select choose a source of info about mima right so what we need to do here is basically the source tag we'll come here and say we click that first and when we click that we can now use this let's just use cy.contains right so we use cy.contains data dot uh, choose ig i think that was that's the thing there let me see again in the selectors choose ig um what is it again so contains choose ID that means you can select by using the text on a particular element and I'll just put should exist and um, it should click so this would select for us and lastly we need to put in the password and click the sign in button so I am going to um, quickly just use one of those types okay so let's copy this type the type block and fill in the password so I'm going to add that to it I just want to fill in this in one sweep so fill in the password and the um, password is what the password field the password field and let's leave the password as uh, password one at right then lastly we click on sign up button um, so we click on sign up button let me paste this here copy everything then undo the change and paste yep so this time it will be click to complete sign up so once we've done this so let's run this test at a go and see maybe it will get us to the OTP page so let's see because once we click next once we click complete sign up it should get us to the OTP page so everything works oh but it could not select this so let's see what failed there choose a source I actually did choose the source but it did not click it so let's just quickly add one thing to that it didn't click that source let's let's first click it and see mm -hmm. let's first click it and see if it will work so let's try that again and see 
so it didn't work so i guess we need to um in the next video so we don't make this video very long in the next video we would fix that particular um step where we need to select the the um the source because the, the the reason we could not do that successfully if this had been done with a tag with a select tag it would have been easy because there's a way cypress handles that but because we needed to first click into it and make sure that this particular thing exists um is a uh, is the border here so we will look for a way to uniquely click, click it and um, find that so um i would want to try something here quickly before we try to move out of it so if i pick this for instance if i pick this and come here because that might not be a unique id so it has seven matches and if i come and add this to it and i say end child one or zero two okay so n child three it's it picks that one succinctly so let's see if this would work let's see and if that doesn't work we'll have to come and probably use a cy wrap um to work with it so let's just quickly just remove this we'll retest that later okay so let's try to use this and see if this would work couldn't get it mm. um says it's undefined let's use the separate selector tool let's try to make some fixes before we try to fix it because I'm sure that once we can use uh, we can use the CY wrap if it's not picking it to click. So, but hold on, and um, let's try to select with this. So let's copy what is in there and see if that would work. And if that works, that's what we're going to use. So, mm -hmm. let's run it again and see. Oh, sorry, we are still using content. I think that's where our problem is. So, there's um, let's leave this and put get back here and see we need to stop this let's put get back there and see yeah it worked this time around and there we are so we've got into the otp page so in the next video we don't need to fix anything anymore we fixed the issue um let me remove the first the first true to be sure that uh, we do not need this anymore so let me remove the first true and um, take this value let me put this value as um, let me copy out this value and um, still put choose ig here data dot um, choose ig yep it's still the same thing and all i just need to do is change the value of choose ig um, yeah so i can change this one to single quotes instead of double quotes i can put an escape slash on it so with this done let's test it one last time then we can move on to the next video where we need to extract the otp right so it says we have this on your record so we have to change our email address because it has already sent something towards that so we just need to log in into our email and get what we needed what we need rather so um on our email 
it has dropped this for us and what we have is um oh this this is not where we are going to check the email sorry so we go into our inbox and um, we have this there and as you can see um, received email no result because it didn't send that email here did it oh yes he sent the email successfully so this is what we need and at this point we'll come and pick this so in the next video that is what we are going to do we are going to come and we are going to um, use this particular what is it called we are going to change some we are going to manipulate the records we are sending in right now so that by the time we want to automate um, the getting of the email we would have a we would have a unique record so if you've gotten this far please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye